in this video I'm going to prototype a propane torch that I will be using in a future project where I will be building a gas forge which should be cheaper in use and easier to control than a charcoal forge. Hope you enjoyed the video. For this project I used three and a quarter inch pipe in different lengths, a three and a quarter inch T fitting, a half inch pipe lock, a half inch pipe bend, a half inch pipe valve, a half inch to a quarter inch pipe converter, a quarter inch hose nipple with an outer diameter of six millimeter or zero point twenty four inches a gas regulator with a hose nipple of the same size, two hose tightening bands, a CO2 building tip, and one and a half meter or around five feet of high pressure hose. Beside what you see here, I used a three quarter inch to one inch pipe converter as my flame nozzle.
The first thing I needed to assist was if I could get it to burn. It could not be lit from the front, so I tried lighting the air intake with success. However, the flame acted more like a posted flame, which would not be acceptable for a burner, mainly because of the heat loss within the tube. This occurs because the flames travel back and forward inside the tube. An example of this can be seen here. That's also the reason why it's so loud when it's running. Next step would be to eliminate the pulsating flame in order to make it more stable. I did this by introducing a nozzle to the end of the pipe to get a more stable burn area. This made it so that I could light it from the front and the back. However, if I lit it from the back, it would still pulsate until I gave it full power. After that, the flame would become stable. Last but not least, I tested how I could optimize the flame, so I decided to test it with three different lengths of three and a quarter inch pipes. The length of the three pipes was as follows: 15 centimeters or 5.9 inches, 20 centimeters or 7.9 inches, and 50 centimeters or 19.7 inches. After the test, I took a look at the footage to make my decision. And for me, there was a clear winner, the half meter solution. Mainly because the flame burned brighter and the flame was longer, which gives me a greater possibility to have the greatest heating effect. If you have a suggestion on how I can optimize my burner, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.